In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Gemini AI Art Generator to create album artwork in seconds. So I'm on Gemini right now. All you have to do is go to gemini.google.com. And this is how easy it is. Like I said, I'm making an album artwork for my AI artist, The Infinite Lamb Chop. Like I said, I'm doing a song about an iPhone. Like, I don't know. Call my iPhone. Maybe a cheesy name. All I'm going to do is this. Make me an, uh, maybe a picture. Actually, I would say image. Maybe an image of an iPhone with the text. Nope, can't spell. The Infinite Lamb Shop. Now, once I do, it's going to do this in seconds. And I'll show you some of the other ones I've made using this. I'll be honest. When it comes to AI, especially the art generators, you might have to do this a couple times. It might misspell something or duplicate a letter or whatever. So you can see right here, actually not bad. So in general, not bad. You can see right here, I-N-F-F, I-N-I-T-E. So what I'm going to do is just copy and paste this. A little copy pasta and just do this again. But this is the process that I use to make album artwork now because it's pretty seamless. Honestly, you can see right there, like not bad, right? It looks pretty good. Um, let's see if we can get a good one this time. Uh, let's see. The INFC. What I might do, maybe, actually kind of looks like the uh, the font of, um, what was I going to say? Uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. But I can show you these. Or if I go here, um, like for example, for tr transit, right? If I go down here, where was it? Uh, there's one that I used, like this one, the Ambulant Lamb Shop. I was with DK uh, right here. This one, I kind of like the way they, they did the uh, lettering there. And there's other ones I've done, right? In terms of, uh, I did an IPA for one video. You can see that, right? Um, Happy Bartender. It's actually pretty good. It's pretty accurate because back in the day, it couldn't really do like humans, but now it can. Um, let's see if we got a good one now, though. The Infinite Lamb Shop. So that's perfect. And now all I have to do is download that. I'm going to go to upload my song on, like, say, District Kid, for example. I upload my uh, song itself in terms of the WAV file. Then the image right there, which is already created with the, the iPhone and the text and all that kind of stuff. And I'm good to go.